Welcome everyone to the webinar for AVR today. My name is Preena Kapoor um, and I'm a consultant for Nolan Business Solutions. Um, so today we're just going to be talking through the benefits of AVR for your business and a short demonstration on automated bank statement input format and a manual input format via a, with AVR. Um, at the end, we can use the chat window so you can post any questions and I will try to answer them there and then. Um, if I'm not able to, um, I, we will make a note of them and get back to you. Um, if there are any other questions, please email sales at nolanbusinesssolutions.com and we can find someone who will be able to answer those questions for you. So why Nolan Business Solutions ABR? So, the benefit of Nolan Business Solutions ABR is that it speeds up your, your month-end process. Um, you know, so you're able to focus on other things. Um, you're able to use a real-time view to see all your transactions side by side and go through a one-click process to go in and just reconcile all of your bank transactions in one go rather than trying to manually match them by hand. Uh, we all know how annoying that is. Um, so um, it speeds up the month-end process. Um, essentially, it saves your senior finance team time. So obviously, your senior finance team, your finance team could be doing other things. Your treasury management team could be doing, um, you know, some other reconciliations on different accounts. And this just allows you to automate your processes, automate your matching and your reconciliation process um, to essentially accurate um, to better accurate cash positions and enables better. Um, decisions for you and your company. Um, so just a couple of key features of ABR. Um, it's an intuitive tool um, and it allows users to automatically match tra bank transactions within NetSuite. Um, so a great feature of our ABR is that we can see um, your your bank transactions on the right hand side which you've imported via either CSV method or our automatic um, statement import format file or we have um, so, and on the right-hand side, we have your general ledger NetSuite transactions that have been extracted into um, the ABR module. Also, easily configured for all international bank statement formats. So, these are the manual formats that you can upload. So, these include CSV, your BI, BAI, and your regular MT940 formats. Um, we also have the option to directly download your statements using um, using your bank credentials, so you just enter your bank credentials into our ABR system and um, on a regular daily, weekly or monthly or hourly basis, um, bank transactions can be um, directly downloaded into our ABR module. Um, this is based on um, whether or not we have the ability to support your banks. Um, we support over 75% of the world's banks at the moment, um, but if you do send across, us your, send across your URLs, we are able to view whether or not um, they are supported. Um, so it reconciles your transactions directly to your general ledger, uh, automatically matches your transactions using auto-match rules um, and processes. Um, you have the option to report um, any adjustments and you have a great reporting tool which is also combined within the um, AVR functionality and um, you also have the option which is something that I love is if you have any open customer payments sitting in your, sitting in your net suite and um, you haven't extracted them into AVR, you're able to create auto-generation templates to go ahead and apply your bank payments directly to those invoices. Um, so yeah, I mean it's a great it's a great tool to have, but you will have to teach ABR how you would like your ABR functionality to work, how you would like to reconcile it, um, and eventually it will become an automatic automated process for yourself. Um, so this is the um, general uh, user interface. So like I said, we view our bank account side by side um, and our GL side by side. Um, so it is a full NetSuite integration um, and you can view and reconcile multiple accounts within ABR. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start the demo now. So I'm going to start today with um, just talking about the reconcile screen um, and a little bit about the NetSuite bundle. So the NetSuite bundle is installed via the um, Suite Bundler app that NetSuite have. 
um, you then uh, are required to obtain a registration key from us, um, which will be provided to you upon purchase of AVR. Um, so this is out your general reconciliation screen. So as you can see, at the moment we don't have any reconciliations. Um, we have some filters up here uh, which allow you to just click on and either match, unmatch, uh, using the auto match rules that you have or auto generation template rules that you have um, and help functionality here as well. Um, so what I do love is just from the interface, from the software interface here, we're able to access one current reconciliation report. Um, we will see this with transactions in just a minute, but I just wanted to show you how great it looks at the moment. So. Um, we also have a filter, we have the option to set filters, so you can go here and obviously you have many transactions, so you're able to filter them by entity name, transaction number, memo, amount and equal um, matching numbers. Um, and you can, that's not only, that's just your NetSuite side, obviously on your bank side you have slightly less filters, but slightly the same, um, you, get, you get the general idea. Um, so we also have a display filter here, so we're able to see our unmatched transactions, our matched transactions, and all of the uh, transactions side by side. Um, so at every single point you're given a, um, a total amount uh, of your matched transaction, total selected, and up here we just have the comparison between your general ledger and your bank. Um, so yeah, I mean um, it's obviously a little bit more um, complex than the normal NetSuite one, um, but like I said before, the a huge benefit is that you can see the GL and the bank side to side, and you're able to go in and actually tick them off. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm just going to show you two methods of importing your bank statement. Uh, so the first is going to be um, is going to be a manual bank statement import format file that we're going to use, and then we're going to go on to do a direct statement download from our bank account. Um, <clears throat> so you're, once the ABR bundle is installed and configured, um, the typical bank reconciliation workflow consists of following steps. So <clears throat> we first start with extracting our transactions from NetSuite. So these are all of your posted transactions that we have. <clears throat> um, within that suite, and we're just going to choose a date range that I've already set up, um, and we're just going to change that to August. So I've chosen um, a two-month date range here. You can choose uh, whatever date range that you require, um, and as you can see, this is our select account tool here. So you're able to um, verify which account you'd like to use, and you're able to have as many accounts as you require um, within ABR. So we can support over a different um, amount of accounts. Um, so this is just our process status page, um, which just allows you to view a real-time view of exactly what's happening with your transactions. So if we go in and press refresh, we can just see how many transactions have been um, extracted and what's been extracted for us today. So if we just go to results here. Okay, and um, this is our reconciliation state, and we can just see what has been um, reconciled into our account. Um, so we have £50 amount here, and we're just going to go into our reconciled bank statement and view that transaction. So as you can see, you can just see the um, Vodafone phone bill there that's been extracted in. Um, you can have as many or as little um, transactions that you require, uh, you would then go in and import your bank statement, which is what we're going to do just now. So I'm just going to make a quick change to one of our bank statements, seeing as um, one of the extractions have been extracted. Um, so I'm going to just do that now. And I'm just changing the transaction type to a bill payment, and I'm just going to change that to amount. So this is your typical CSV file that we have. Um, we can um, the statement import format is generated by this is a CSV import format that file that we have. Um, we 
arrange the data in columns and NetSuite directly reads each column to see which data that you require. Um, so for example, the statement input format file would be transaction date uh, would be field one, uh, reference would be field two, transaction would be field three, and amount would be field four. Field four. Um, to have credit and debit data, uh, to have credit and debit um, amounts, you have the option to either have two separate columns, so if we require a debit column here and possibly a credit column here, we are able to add these amounts in, um, but today I'm just going to go ahead and um, verify it about by amount. So I'm just going to save that now. Okay, so um, the formats are selected from here. You can have as many different formats as you require, and this is our account that we're going to be um, applying the CSV file to today. I'm just going to submit that. So as you can see, we've just got current status of how the um, record is going to be processed. Just got a few blank transactions in here, which we can go in and manually delete. So this is another great feature. You're able to go in and just click on whichever transaction that you would like to delete and go ahead and delete it. Okay. So yeah, so we're just going to go back into our reconciliation window now, and we're going to reconcile our one transactions for today. Um, okay, so this is just your basic CSV import format file. Um, obviously, in a real-life scenario, you would have a lot more different transactions and um, you would apply those rules to the transaction. So either you can go in and select our auto match functionality at this point. Um, we can go in and talk about the auto match functionality in just a second. Um, but I just would like to just show you a complete reconciliation uh, via manually via manual reconcile. So we're just going to go ahead and click match here. And we can see our current reconciliation report with our transaction. So as you can see, we've got our match receipt there and our match receipt here. Um, nothing's outstanding, there's no difference, and um, our closing position of our bank statement today. So at this point, we would just go in and we would just reconcile the statement that we have. And you can see the reconciliation is now complete and one record has been processed. So our closing balance and closing balance for that reconciliation will then carry on to the next reconciliation that we do. Uh, we're able to change the statement date as required. And um, we can then also go in and delete our reconciliations via, via our handy delete reconciliation tool just here. So we can go in, just select HSBC current. You can see the date that we have here. So you can only delete the current reconciliation that you have, and you can just go in and press delete. And you can see that two records have been processed, and we can now go in and make any changes to our amount there. So that was the manual statement import format file that we have. Um, I'm just going to change accounts now and show you our eInteract um, demo account company. Um, so this is our, uh, our automated bank statement import format file. Um, setup that we have here. So with this, so what we've just done is we've just imported it via CSV. We're now going to directly import our um, bank statement via the bank company that we have. So um, what we would do at this point is we, after setting it up, we would enter our bank details, so our uh, username and password that we use on our bank online interface and we would just go in and set up um, a manual process that will download the statements directly, um, extract any transactions that we require, auto match them and auto generate them. Uh, we'll be having a look at the auto match and auto generate tools in just a moment but I'm just going to go ahead and perform tasks here. I'm just going to change the dates a little bit. And just give us a big scope of dates. Going to go ahead and perform tasks. 
So this can actually be an automated process running in the background um, whenever you require. So this can happen daily, weekly, monthly, um, and you're able to do it on a standard basis. You can see the 20 new entries have been received, and we're just going to go in and view the process instance. So just at this point, again, um, this can be automated and be running in the background, um, but at this point, um, ABR is just creating the statement for us, and we're just going to click refresh here, and you can see that 20 lines have been added. Um, we're just going to be extracting the transactions from NetSuite now. Takes a little bit of time sometimes. And just because we're obviously talking to the bank statement, um, bank online interface, and we're just able to go in and view these lines. You can see that new extraction, extraction has been completed, and 12 existing records have been updated. Just got to recalculate reconcile history there as we're reconciling a new account. Uh, we have actually gone in and auto-matched rules, and we've made 10 matches so far. And um, we don't actually have any auto generations on this account, unfortunately. But we're just going to go in and reconcile this bank statement now for us. This is our statement direct account, and we're just going to go in and reconcile. So as you can see, these are all of our matched transactions that we have so far, uh, our matched transactions that we have. As you can see, that they're side by side at the minute, and um, an internal match ID is created upon every match transaction. This is allowing you to go in and audit as you require. So at this point, quite similar to um, our CSV import format file, we will be able to go in and ma manually match these transactions against each other and we will be able to um, reconcile as normal. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a, cute, a few um, tips and tricks on here. So for example, if we have any currency adjustment or reevaluations that we need to make at this point, um, so we have maybe a couple of payments here for this, comp for this, for this vendor here, um, we may need to maybe create a currency adjustment here. Um, so what we can do is we can create a GL transaction. I understand this is quite um, a bit of a difference, obviously, in um, a normal life scenario. This obviously wouldn't happen. But what we can do is we can create an account which will allow us to credit the adjustment amount that we require. So at this point, we can just go in and maybe say, okay, so this, this is going to go to our depreciation expense um, or a currency account, and we can just say that that's going to be our amount that we're going to be reconciling that against. So you can just see, and you can just, it's just a normal journal entry that we have here, so you are able to um, apply the location in class as normal um, if you require. So yeah, and there you go, that's just your opening balance record there and any other things that you have outstanding. So we can just create another GL transaction for that amount and we can go in and reconcile that. So I'm going to change that to my account depreciation building and just going to be debiting the difference to a general ledger account using our create GL transaction. So um, this is our reconciled state now. We can see that the match transactions have been created. We have a few more transactions than our GL side, but that's because we have um, created GL journals uh, to coincide with them. Um, so again, just at this point, all you would do is you would reconcile as normal, or you can view your current reconciliation report, and you're just able to go in and reconcile your record as you require. As you can see, 14 records have been processed. So um, normal setup for, uh, via Nodens would include um, one bank account that we would set up for yourself, and we will show you how to set it up with one target account that is created via Nodens, um, via NetSuite. Um, we would coincide them, help you establish your first opening balance position, 
and then go in and show you how to do a manual reconciliation for your company. Um, we so the two great features of the um, AVR functionality is that we have the auto match rules and the auto gen template. So I'm just going to have a quick look at how the auto match rules are set up. So as you can see here, we've got some existing ones. Um, the way the auto match rules are set up is um, the, when your transactions are extracted from NetSuite and you have the coinciding one um, on your bank transaction bank statement input format file, um, you have a separate format, uh, separate column for your transaction type, and um, the auto match rules are based on transaction type. So um, we can enter our transaction type here. We would enter our transaction code that we have. So um, you can either have um, a three character long transaction type or a long payment if you require. Um, so you can just see the logic that we use here. Um, so we're able to match by date. So we'll be able to coincide both matching rules by date. Um, we can match by document or check number. So we have the document number that will be a separate column within your bank statement input format file, or we can um, match by reference. Um, and then we just apply this to the transaction types that are here as well. So we can just say, um, this transaction type is a payment, and I would like to match it against all payments. Um, so like I said before, you will have to essentially in the beginning teach ABR how you would like it to work and then following on from that it is an automated process for yourself. So um, that's the auto match rules. Um, the auto gen templates, um, this is quite interesting. So for uh, your auto gen templates, what we have here is um, for example, in your bank statement, you would maybe have um, an interest charge that you know is coming in, but you don't have a coinciding amount for it within your NetSuite every month. So, for example, we have it a transaction amount of our interest of £32 or $32 or whatever it is um, that you're uh, doing your currency in, and you're able to go in, create this autogen template, and a journal entry is created that coincides with your transaction. So um, we can just see, created some before, um, so you can just see that it's auto allocated for you on the day of the month that it comes in. So uh, you're able to set up which day it might come in, or maybe a day of the month variance, just in case it's running on a weekend and um, you know your bank doesn't pick up uh, certain things on a weekend. And you're able to just use um, various different variances that you're able to apply to that. So that's the bank charge um, typical format that we have, uh, typical example that we have of using Autogen. Um, another example is um, a payment method. So um, what uh, well, a customer payment. So what would happen here is uh, you would have your transaction type which could come in as a payment or a receipt or whatever it is from your customer. You're able to then um, select either what day you might think it come in or um, if it's a recurring payment or a direct debit payment that you have set up for that customer, um, you're able to set the day of month there. Um, and what you can do here is just set your entity type to customer and it will pick up any open invoices sitting in NetSuite for you at that point in time. Um, so yeah, but we will give you full training um, on this if you require. And just to reiterate um, previously, we have two functionalities, just a little summary of what we've gone through today. So AVR is able to view your transactions side by side from bank and GL in a real-time view format. Uh, you can use Statement Direct to download your statements directly if you require that. Um, but we will have to check your URLs like we mentioned before. We have a 75% rate of world banks that we currently support. Um, but that doesn't mean to say that we support all banks. Um, we then have um, a manual import format that we if you don't if you're not supported by Statement Direct or you would like to um, manually upload your uh, statement format files and you have a great reporting functionality here um, the option to create adjustments within your um, reconciliation screen and you're able to do a manual matching process um, or an automated matching process depending on how your business works 
Um, so do we have any questions at this point? Anyone? No? Okay, um, well, so if anyone has any questions, please do not feel um, afraid to ask or do email us at this point. Um, or in the future when um, you would like to receive the AVL functionality. And if you require anything else from us, please do let us know. Um, please email sales at novabusinesssolutions.com and one of our representatives will be in touch to contact you um, with our AVL package. Um, so that's our AVL demo for today. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it and look forward to speaking with you guys soon. <laughs>